Hi, this is Brayden, co-founder of Robo. We're gonna get started on how to set up your Robo E3 education-focused 3D printer so you're up and printing in your classroom in a matter of minutes. Before you get started, please make sure to register your Robo E3 for any warranty or servicing needs. You can register your product at robo3d.com slash register. Okay, let's get started. Let's go ahead and unbox our Robo E3. Once you open the box, you'll see some contents at the top that you can go ahead and remove. The first is your getting started guide, your spare parts pack, and your activation codes. Second is your electrical cord, and the last is your filament. Go ahead and remove the carton at the top, and then pull out your Robo E3 3D printer from the box. Remove the bubble wrap, and we'll move on to the next step. Go ahead and remove the packaging tape and any protective film on your Robo E3. This is to protect it when shipping and also from any scratches from any other packaging material. Go ahead and keep the cardboard that's inside the E3 there. We'll remove it in a minute. Quickly, I wanted to go over what's included in the box. You'll see the quick start guide, the 500 grams of filament, your power cord, tool kit, and spare parts pack. Now let's power up your printer by plugging in the power cord and turning it on. Now let's remove the piece inside the Robo E3. Once your printer is powered on, go ahead and go to Tools, click on Settings, then go over one tab and click on Move. What you're going to want to do is hold down on the Z Up button to make sure your head is above the cardboard. This is just for easy removal and to make sure you don't scratch it when removing this piece. Once you remove it, you're good to go. Now we're gonna to connect to Wi-Fi to see if there's any updates available. Go ahead and click on Tools, then click on Network, then press the Wi-Fi button. Toggle on the button at the top right to scan for networks. Once the networks appear, choose the one you'd like to connect to, type in the passcode and click the check mark in the top right to connect. Once connected, press the button in the bottom right to go back to settings. Scroll to page three and click the update icon. It will then begin searching for an update. If one's available, please update your printer and restart it. The last step before printing is calibrating your Robo E3. Click on tools, then click on settings, then click on calibration. The print head will move to the home position, then to the center of the platform and down. There are two reasons why you want to calibrate your printer. Your print may be too high, as shown here, where the print does not stick to the platform. What ends up happening is that your print will become removed from the platform and move around, causing a failed print. The other reason is your print head may be too low, in which case no material comes out of the print head. Both these scenarios require proper calibration to make sure your printer is printing correctly. Go ahead and take a small sheet of paper and run it under the print head. It should move freely back and forth. Then go to your touch screen and make sure to tap the extruder down arrow you see there while running your piece of paper back and forth. What you are looking for is the actual paper to be slightly grabbed by the print head. Once you sense a slight bit of friction, you know you're at the right height for printing. You'll see in this video, the print head is slightly grabbing the piece of paper. That's when you know you're at the right height. Press OK, then press Completed, and your calibration is stored. If you notice your print head is too high or too low, redo the calibration. Now let's go ahead and load filament into your Rubble E3 and get started with your first print. Go ahead and pull on the latch and remove the filament door. Grab the black plastic piece and put it in the center of your filament so it fits on the spool holder. Make sure the material is running at the bottom and the back as shown here and feed it through the black and yellow arrow all the way up into the gear. Make sure there's no slack on the line and that it's wound tightly so it feeds freely. Once that's done, go ahead and go to the screen, click on filament and click load. Your Robo E3 will then start heating up to the proper temperature. When this is completed, the gears will start turning and your filament will feed through, as shown here. 
Now place your Robo E3 door back on by putting the latch in its proper slot at the bottom and pulling the handle up to make sure it's flush. The filament will feed through the Robo E3 and eventually will start oozing out of the nozzle as shown here. When this happens, press OK on the print screen and we'll get started on our first print. Now that your printer's calibrated, go ahead and click on build, click on the top drive, click on the one file that's in there, and then click the center button to start your print. Your printer will move to its home position and then heat up. Once it has heated up, it will begin printing. If your calibration is set right, the material will stick to the platform nicely and begin laying layer by layer as shown here. Look at how beautiful that test print looks and congratulations on your first print. When your print is completed, go ahead and press on the front of the platform to slide it out and remove it. You can then flex your build plate to pop the print off. Make sure to remove any excess material on your platform before you put it back in your printer. To put your build plate back onto your platform, go ahead and press down on the front of your build plate and slide it under the latches. There are latches on all ends of your build plate, so make sure it is tightly pressed under them. Congratulations on completing your Robo E3 quick start video. You are now ready to begin your 3D printing journey. If you have any questions at all, please visit us at robo3d.com. We can't wait to see what you create.